we're here with uh, with block party drummer Matt Tom, Bournemouth's uh, well, probably Bournemouth's most famous fan. I don't know how you feel about that, that, that uh, title, but there's not really you haven't got much much, yeah, uh, much competition. competition really. No, no, I don't. Um, yeah, I guess if uh, who else is from Christian Bell's from Bournemouth, right? Or didn't he? Get, he went to Bournemouth school. He went. He went to yeah. Bournemouth. If we could get him into football, then he you know he completely uh, supersede. Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine yeah. it being his type of thing. Though. No, probably not. No, but um, he'd be, I can imagine he'd be quite vociferous at the games, though, given his uh, you know his Terminator rant yeah. um. about the lion, <laughs> the, the, the blood lion. Yeah, he'd be a very passionate supporter. Yeah. Well, um, you've been back in back in England now for a month. You're based in America now, in New York. Yeah. Right? So, what? Um, how much AFC Bournemouth stuff did you manage to catch? Uh, what this season? Mm. Well, um, I'm. Been following a lot on, uh, you know, on the message board and the, you know, the various websites. And then for Christmas, my mum got me a, a Cherries player subscription. Yes. <laughs> so, so uh, I, I was at least able to watch. Subscriptions now. Yeah, get 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 them in. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I was able to follow the highlights. And then uh, Bournemouth actually had quite a few. I mean, there were at least two or three matches that were televised on Sky, right? Mm. So I, I was able to sneakily watch those on uh, various uh, websites, which. Uh, you know, uh, probably on on uh, official as such, but <laughs> anyway, uh, the less I say about that, the better. So uh, yeah, I caught a few games. Um, I suppose the Colchester, you know, Eddie Eddie Howe's last match, um, and then uh, yeah, I, I I made tentative plans to come back to Bournemouth uh, for the month of June, uh, and I kind of shifted those once the the playoff. Uh, you know, it became obvious that we were going to qualify for the playoffs. So uh, yeah, I was able to catch the both legs of the Huddersfield game in the flesh. Uh, any particular feelings about? It? Obviously, we're all very disappointed with with, with the final outcome. But we, we you travelled to Huddersfield as well, did you? Yeah, yeah, I, I travelled to Huddersfield um, and almost like crashed on the way home because I, I did most of the driving and uh, literally by four o'clock in the morning I was hallucinating. Um, <laughs> so so my mum had to take over, but. Uh, uh, I don't know, the, the, that, that second game was kind of such a weird feeling at the end because uh, really there were two teams on, on the pitch who left it all out there. I mean, like it, it, it was so, so entertaining and uh, it, it's weird to have lost such an important match but still feel you know, kind of euphoric mm. in a way because uh, you know, it's, it's the first time in a, a, a long time that, that I'd seen a game with so much passion was kind of was evident, and it's, you know, it's a bit of a cliche to drag out that adjective um, in terms of describing, you know, football, a football game and football players' performances. But I mean, it was really, you know, it, it was so intense. It, it really was. Um, it was such a, it was a, such a good advert for League One football as well. But, but it really was. I mean, like Lovell's goal was just. Yeah, stunning. I mean, he'd definitely been. You know, there was definitely a lot. Of, it was funny because of, on on. The unofficial, uh, you know, on the on the. Can I talk about the Vitals website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, on, most on the, of the audience yeah. is probably on there anyway. So. On the, on the message board, I mean, there was so much kind of like joshing about Lovell and if he would, uh, you know, actually make a, an appearance this season. Then, God, he, he really did in that that second game. That that goal was so good. Mm. I was stood there thinking he's got to square it. He's, he's not going to score <laughs> from that angle. And then it, I just stood there once it was in the net and didn't really know what to do because uh, you know it was weird. <laughs>